expression of our uh, desired genes uh, must be done before this the expression of uh, of this marker genes right because suppose you tag the marker genes on the first place then we tag the rest of the suppose then we take the rest of your desired gene then you can see that uh, is the expression of your marker suppose it happens uh, the translation begins it will trans and transcription begins it will transcribe up to this part uh, suppose this part and it will falls off so rest of the part of your host gene desired gene is not synthesized at all but if you go with the assay the assay will say you the positive result that means the expression of host uh, selectable gene but that's not the case so we need to attach or tag these reported genes downstream okay that can make you sure that if this downstream gene is transcribed definitely the upstream genes are trans transcribed okay anyways now after the attachment we can see uh, the expression is done so fusion protein as you can see it is produced GAP is produced here and we can see the expression like this green fluorescent protein expression under the light UV light okay or you can do the fluorescent microscope or you can detect the fluorescence utilizing the uh, fluorometer okay now uh, there are two different uh, types of selectable markers actually we've talked about markers selectable markers then screening markers we've talked about now selectable markers and among selectable markers there are two different types of markers one is negative selectable marker another one is the positive selectable markers now among negative selectable markers one is antibiotic resistant marker anti metabolite resistant anti metabolite marker and herbicide resistance marker and among the positive selectable markers there are glucuronidase gene which is a gas marker we have talked before xylose isomerase gene phosphomannose isomerase gene now what are the type of this negative and uh, positive uh, selectable markers negative selectable marker means the selectable markers will lead up to the negative effect onto the plant cell or host cell or, or onto the cell we are uh, looking the expression of the marker so it will eventually most of the time kill the cell okay but in case of positive selectable markers it won't kill the cell uh, instead it can help uh, this the cell to uh, produce and uh, be normal but the expression will be done so there lies the difference okay now antibiotic resistant markers now among uh, these uh, negative selectable markers most of the markers are negatively selectable very few are positively selectable which will lead up to a good effect or uh, a neutral effect to the plant it is uh, very less because we are dealing with uh, all this type of expressions and expressions uh, lead up to the death of the cell ultimately okay over expression uh, definitely lead up to the death right so that's why negative selectable markers are actually most of the time utilized so antibiotics resistant marker anti metabolite and herbicide resistance so the first one is the antibiotic resistant marker genes now uh, this marker genes are these genes uh, enable the transformed cells to survive on the media containing the toxic level of select selection agent while the non-transformed cells will get killed suppose here again the cells which are transformed with this type of marker uh, suppose we are uh, giving the gene uh, resistant gene so we are having this uh, host desired gene and all these different genes among them we give this resistant gene for suppose streptomycin resistance so we give the streptomycin resistant gene here okay so those plants which are transformed successfully can get this gene and those plants which are not transformed successfully cannot get this gene so the successfully transformed plant will have the streptomycin resistant so if you plate all of those plants in streptomycin containing sorry streptomycin containing media so all of this media suppose are streptomycin containing media so if we give them on the streptomycin containing media only those uh, plants which are successfully transformed having the streptomycin resistant property can grow all the rest of the others cannot grow so as a result we can screen uh, the transformed cell from them okay we can select the transformed cell or can select those cells which are expressing this streptomycin resistant so that's why you utilize this selectable term in this case here uh, the example says this neomycin phosphotransferase or NPT is a very very common type of marker which are utilized in case of plant systems or plant transformation systems okay uh, so neomycin trans neomycin transferase uh, neomycin phosphotransferase or NPT2 it inactivates a number of amino glycosides such as kanamycin neomycin 
genetimize geneticin okay so so this this gene actually uh, so this is a resistant marker right so you can see here so this is the desired gene this is the marker gene so neomycin phosphotransferase if we uh, give them then what we will do it will inactivates a number of amino glycosides such as the canamycin neomycin and gentamicin so eventually those bacteria can get the resistant against canamycin neomycin and gentamicin and all this type of antibiotics uh, that you can utilize so if you plate them onto canamycin neomycin and gen gen geneticin containing plate so those those plant cells can easily grow but all the others which are not successfully transformed which are not having the activity of npt2 gene cannot grow onto the plates now second one is the anti metabolite marker genes now uh, the most important one is uh, methotrexate in insensitive dihydrofolate reductase or uh, methotrexate insensitive dhfr or mi dhfr in the, uh, if you uh, want to say in short form okay so what will happen in general case of dhfr expression dhfr is there which is functionally gets distorted via methotrexate but what will happen when uh, the anti metabolite marker acts uh, in modified plant in selection what will happen here if we produce if we can produce a methotrexate resistant dhfr for a plant in normal dhfr it can be easily distorted the functionality will be easily lost if methotrexate is working onto it now if we can modify the plant in such a way that it is resistant it is producing the resistant dhfr then what will happen methotrexate cannot uh, degrade this DHFR, it cannot distort the structure of DHFR, and as a result, cells can alive, can be alive. Okay, so cells can be alive; it can go on for a long time. Okay, so that's how we can distinguish the presence of our or the expression of our desired product. So if we channel or if we create the system in such a way, suppose this is our desired product, and this is the way of method. Uh, this is the other gene product which will generate. Uh, which will help to generate the resistant DHFR, so methotrexate resistant DHFR. As a result, both of the products are produced. Desired products is also uh, normally produced, and also this methotrexate resistant, sorry, methotrexate resistant uh, DHFR is also produced. Now this DHFR cannot be degraded by methotrexate. As a result, cells could be alive, and we can screen it from here. So utilizing this technique, actually one thing is very very easier that uh, those uh, transformed cells can only be alive and all the other cells which are not alive, uh, we don't have to care about that because they are dead, right? But all the alive cells uh, must be having the expression of our desired gene. Okay. Where is it? Where is my car share? Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Fine. Now here, third one is the herbicide resistant markers. Now uh, the example is the bar gene. Okay, so what will happen in normal case? Again, we are having glutamine synthase. Now a uh, bar gene will encode for. Uh, now what will happen in normal case? We are having the glutamine synthase, and then the phospho. Uh, this is a phosphinotrysin. Okay, sorry. Now glutamine synthase is there, and phosphinotrysin will act on glutamine synthase enzyme. Now remember what glutamine synthase is performing. Glutamine synthase, as the name suggests, it will produce glutamine. Okay, and glutamine is a very very important amino acid in our body. So the presence of glutamine in plant cells is very very important in many aspects to produce different uh, different types of chemicals and secondary metabolites and all these things. Now this glutamine synthase is. Uh, activity of glutamine synthase is blocked by phosphinotrysin which is another chemical compound which is uh, produced inside the plant cell now phosphinotrysin will block the activity of glutamine synthase this is a general case now how we can utilize this technique uh, how can you utilize this phenomena uh, to produce a marker gene now glutamine synthase is there again in normal case but phosphinotrysin